Hello, this is Stop Action Agidius, and I'm just about to start something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, Mega Man and Base. Um, this is part of a joint project with Nintendo Sun, so you can go check out his channel if you want. Um, I'm playing as Mega Man, and he's playing as Base. Arguably, he has an easier job. So, with that said, let's get started. Alright, so player select Mega Man. Uh, I'll admit, I have... This is mostly blind. I've beaten Ground Man stage and Tengu Man stage so far, just to get a brief idea of what's going to go on. So I've played around with the mechanics a little bit. Alright. Oh. Forgot about those moles there. Come on. Yes, these things do have a name. They're not just random little drills. They have a name. They are... Ow! They are moles. Uh... Okay. Ah, come on, let's go. Oh, flame me tool or something. I don't know what that is, but it, I've seen it before in Mega Man 8, I think in okay, I think that no, no never mind. That's that does remind me of Sword Man stage though in Mega Man 8, where those are one hit death pillars of flame. Of lava. It's lava in his stage, but only flame here, which is good. Tackle fires. Reminiscent of Heat Man's uh, not Fire Man. Ah! That was close. A fireman stage back in Mega Man 1. Let's okay, there we go. Okay, the main thing with this game is the mechanics between Mega Man and Base. Mega Man is the stronger one. He has the powerful Mega Buster. You can charge it up, and you can... Yeah, you can charge it up. That's the main thing with him. With Base, Base gets like a Machine Gun Buster, which I haven't had the chance to use yet because I, have, I haven't played as Base. And he also gets a freaking Double Jump. That makes so, so much of this game easier. Ugh. But yeah. So I have to do all this crazy platforming garbage, which is actually my specialty, so I'm not going to complain there, but it's just a little bit annoying. Okay. And likewise, um, Nintendo Sun is going to have trouble with the bosses. So I guess it all works out in the end, but I'm probably going to have to do a whole lot more research than he is. Especially since I'm not really... I don't really have much experience with this. Alright. Let's see. But I haven't died yet. I'm actually a bit surprised. Uh, da -da -um. Okay, this is this is where that oh I remember dying really frequently there with these these guys. Base oh base you can double jump to escape Okay, that's annoying. Let's just shoot. Are right, you dead? You're dead. You're dead. Okay, yeah, base can double jump to avoid the effect of that. Let's let that mutu suicidal mutual walk off the edge. That's very nice. How okay. kind. Whoa. I'm going to try to stop. I'm going to tr whoa. Try to not use save states in this. Just because that's unprofessional, you know? Alright. Now saving. Here's the boss. Wonder what the boss I think this is the boss. Might be the boss. Proto Man. Proto Man, you have got too far, King. I won't allow you to violate this robot museum. I've downloaded all the data of the battle robots. Now we can create an invincible robot army. Since you are a robot, da 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 da. Let's kind of skip through this. Storyline is not especially important in a Mega Man game. Let's go, 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 Okay, good. Oh. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the Green Devil. The Green Devil. Okay, I will make a safe state here because I don't want to keep on doing weird things. Alright. Green Devil is kind of weird. You gotta, he's a lot different than the Yellow Devil. But basically what you do, you want to, whoa, you want to first get into his body and then shoot that big orb thing in there. It's kind of a basic battle, but it can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Then again, considering that I just beat him in like maybe 15 seconds, maybe it's not that hard after all. Save to which file. Saving over my old part where I'd beaten uh, Tangumon and Ground Man, but that's okay. Alright, I beat Ground Man first last time, so may as well do it in this time since I know what I'm doing here. Alright, what's gonna happen? Actually, I haven't heard of the song before. I was playing with the volume muted last time. Uh, come on. Me tool, wake up, wake up, little me tool. There you go. Oh, then I got hit anyway. Oh well. Alright. Oh yeah, and some other th one other thing that I forgot to mention. I'm recording on Cam Studio now, 
So ideally, if I'm, I've configured everything with a mic and such, you're not going to see that annoying little hypercam, unregistered hypercam 2 thing that you've been seeing for all of my other videos. Which is good, since, yeah, it's, it's just, kind of, whoa, that was close. Here, gonna save state again just in case. Just in case. And let's keep going. Ah, worms. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this part. This is where you gotta shoot that. Okay, whoa, I did that. That's good. Oh, then I got the second one. Oh well. Yeah, those centipedes are really fr are really common in this stage. Oh, I, this might actually be the only place that they exist. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. But they're just a whoa. Yeah, you can't hide down here. I, you, I thought that you could, but you can't. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nope, not quite. Yeah, that see those CDs down there are part of the are another really cool thing about this game that you can only get with base. Oh well, because you need double jumps and all this fancy schmancy abilities with Meg, which Mega Man doesn't have. Oh, and guess what? Base actually does get to improve his gun, but Mega Man doesn't get to improve his jump. Ugh. Mega Man's the hard mode of this game. Alright. Oh. Oh, I wanted that health. Whoa. What are you doing? Alright. Good. Save point. I remember there's a boss right here. This th guy, he has a pattern, but it takes a while to figure it out. First, you gotta... Okay, do that. Okay, now he's coming up over there. Okay, I know I'm not describing this very well, but trust me, it makes sense in my mind. And since I'm the one who's playing, that's the important part. Alright, where are you coming from? You're coming from right there, which is not good for me. Jump over here. Okay, now he's gonna come down. Oh, nope, that wasn't what I was expecting. Are you not dead yet? Die, please. Okay, this is what I thought was going on last time. Come on, die. Uh. Whoa. And. Why? Oh, those don't kill me? I thought they did, but they don't. Whoa, that was fun. Okay. Yeah, those little eggs that you just shot out, those made little... I don't know if he's... Okay, he's dead. Wow. That's good. Save stating again. I haven't used any save states, but may as well have them. Whoa. Okay, we're get, this is the midway point of the stage, if I remember correctly. And there's a bit more that we have to get through before we can actually fight Ground Man. One of the things is this little section right here with the falling plat... Not falling platforms, the rotating platforms, the tricky platforms. And... Whew. It's good. Come on, die. Why am I killing it? Ow. Okay, now I'm down to one health. That was incredibly productive. Grenade. Ah, Sniper Joes, you never cease to annoy me. Whoa. <laughs> he actually threw the grenade down at me. Oh! Well, I suppose I have to die sometime. Yeah, in case you missed what just happened right there, we traded blows and he died, I died, same time, so par for the course. Ow. Yeah, those little clown shield attacker things are hiding just above the ladders, just out of your line of sight, which is actually pretty terrible in this game. That's, this is why I didn't like playing Mega Man 7, because you have such a small screen area. Ugh. Ow. Alright, let's keep on, let's walk around. Just so that we don't die again to the Sniper Joe. Because dying to a Sniper Joe, that's like dying to a Me Tool. Or, oh, I think there was a CD back there. Oh well. Okay, this is the part that I remember as being incredibly evil. That spike ceiling down there will fall every single time you destroy a totem. So, I'm definitely going to use save states here since I don't know which ones I'm supposed to destroy in which order. Uh... Obviously, we gotta get that red one first. That's the one that triggers the falling process in the first place. You'll notice that they're coming out from the bottom, which is dangerous. 
but doable. Okay. There we go. Okay. We are not living. That was bad. Yeah. Safe state. I forgot to jump across that pit. I thought we had a bit more room, but we didn't. Whoa. Uncharged shot, two charge shot, and jump across the pit. And we're gonna save. I'm gonna save and save state right here. Since the videos were almost out of time, it's been a productive first video. So when I get to the end of the next one, we'll probably have beaten Ground Man. Until then.